Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we're looking at word processes in Microsoft Word and we're going to look at a cross reference. Now if you haven't watched our video on hyperlinks and bookmarks I would recommend that you look at that first and then you can come here to look at how we can do a cross reference. So here's a document that we've got with some headings and we've got some bookmarks and stuff like that in it. A cross reference is almost like a specialized hyperlink where normally in a, in a document you might have also see this particular part which is related to whatever you're talking about so let's say at this part we want to relate to something about the introduction so you can click over here and we can say okay let's type in c and we want to say introduction but we want to cross reference to the introduction so i'm going to come here to insert and there you can see is a cross reference so if i click let's put a space there first and then we're going to put in cross reference boom and it will say me or ask me do we want to go to a heading Yes, I do. I want to go to the introduction. You could go to a bookmark if you want or to a footnote or endnote or equation if you wanted to. Any of those options are available. We can make it a hyperlink, which means they can click on it and it'll take them to that particular point. And we can insert what text. We want to have it just the page number or the paragraph number or whatever the bookmark text is. Um, my bookmark text is design issue, which is not necessarily what I want well, I wanted it actually to go to the heading. So let's click on introduction. So I'm happy with the introduction text to be there. So let's do that. Let's see what it does. So we insert it as a hyperlink. We want to go to the introduction and we want that text, that introduction to be the actual text. Insert it and close. And there we go. It says see introduction. Now if I move my mouse over it, you see it says press control and then I can click on it. And it will take me to that particular point in the document. It doesn't go blue and underlined like our hyperlinks do. So it's almost like a hyperlink that doesn't go blue, but that is available to you so that you can do that. Let's do create another cross reference. Let's go evaluation and we want to, or let's go to the top and then go to a particular bookmark. Also see on and we can say page. I'm going to say page because I'm going to use a bookmark in this case. I'm going to say cross reference and I'm going to go to a bookmark and I don't want the bookmark text because the word design issue isn't very nice. I should either design my bookmark text to be a bit better but in this case I'm just going to say hey let's go to the page number please. Boom. And we can make it a hyperlink if you want or we can take it off. Let's leave it on and click on insert and there we go. So it says also see page 5. So now if I click control and click on it, there we go. It goes to that particular bookmark. Now let's see what happens when I move this to a new page and then I click save. So now the bookmark is actually on page six. If you look here, if I click on there, it's actually on the sixth page. So let's scroll up a bit back to that bookmark. Where was it? Also see, so there the cross reference. So if I right click on that cross reference, we can update the field. And now it updates it to go to the correct page. So there we go. So that's what I would recommend you do if you make changes. Make sure you go change your cross references. Okay, so there we go. That is exactly how to make a cross reference. For more links on other words on Microsoft Word, go to our YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button, go to the playlist, and you'll see other word topics there as well. Please share us with your friends so we can help them too. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.